My name is Hugh Mangum, co-founder and pitmaster of Mighty Quinn's Barbecue in New York City. I was a rock drummer. I toured for a number of years. One of those guys that like almost made it, but didn't like make it. Even though you're traveling on a budget or a per diem as a musician, I got to taste a ton of food that maybe otherwise I would not have had the same experiences. Decided to go to culinary school, not as a career, but as something that I just wanted to learn. We're in a constant state of evolution, and if I'm not learning or taking on a new challenge, I kind of go crazy. For me, food was that challenge. I would worked in New York City out of culinary school. I just felt like I couldn't catch a break. I just was hitting brick wall after brick wall. And I was still doing barbecue all the while. Eric Demby and Jonathan Butler at the Brooklyn Flea said, we have a new market coming up called Smorgasburg, which is gonna be food only. And I literally jumped out of the seat. I was like, count me in, whatever it takes. The weekend of July 4th, I smoked five briskets, 12 racks of ribs, and four pork butts. You know, I was like, oh my God, this is a lot of food. 90 minutes later, we were sold out. Unbeknownst to me, the Wall Street Journal was there. We became kind of like the photo of Smorgasburg. So the lines grew and it just kept on getting more and more popular and it just took on a life of its own. I went from five briskets to I think 35 briskets was the most I brought. I would smoke ribs there because I was able to bring my smoker there. So I would smoke you know, 50 racks there and sell them out in three or four hours. This amazing kind of community was created through Smorgasburg. It was like the Woodstock of food. Far and away, the item that built the house at Mighty Quinn's is our brisket. Our brisket is very simple. Slow smoked for approximately 16 to 24 hours. We season it with salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika. My father was from Texas. When he used to season barbecue, he had paprika in his rub. So my reasoning for having it in there is it's because it kind of is a throw to him. Season it, let it sit for 24 hours to cure, and then we smoke it at approximately 200 to 225 degrees for 16 to 24 hours. We go through about 12,000 pounds of meat a week. I've been responsible for a lot of cows meeting their demise. I don't want to think about that because I know that there's a few cows waiting up there for me to throw me on a smoker. Quinn is my oldest son, Mighty Quinn. It just sounded really good. I liked it because it didn't connotate barbecue. And I had the impetus to not fail because if I did, I was letting my son down. He's been my good luck charm. Now my other two kids want restaurants named after them. The East Village is the only home I've ever known in New York City. It feels like a piece of meat. My first apartment in New York was a block away. I mean, the East Village has been such a family and they've embraced us so much that we've become a neighborhood place. We've been really, really fortunate that going into our third year, we're still humming along and, you know, I just count every day as a blessing. The dream has come true and hopefully it won't end. <laughs>